Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Subscription Boxes and More with Michelle. This is going to be a crazy nightmare of a video three-part thing to edit because <laughs> I keep going back and forth. So anyways, we are on to the third and final of these nostalgia um, appliances that my husband bought, the My Minis. And this one is the My Mini Waffle Maker. Now, uh, they had the Belgium waffle mix a couple of days before he bought this. They sold out at our Walmart. So we are going to use the blueberry mix for the pancake and for the waffle. Just to test that out, see how it works. Um, it says here that you can make berries and cream. I don't think they mean you can make berries and cream. I think they mean you can top it with berries and cream. But you can make cinnamon roll waffles and you can make crispy hash browns and you can make brownie waffles. And I'm sure you can make other things. You can come up with your own recipes for these. Um, it looks just like the griddle on the outside. Little and cute, just like the griddle one. But this one has the grid for the waffles. Okay, so I gotta clean that. And I have uh, the light, the indicator light has gone off on the griddle. So I'm going to pause this and uh, go back to the griddle one and then we will do the waffle one and then we'll go back to the eggs and we will hope to not mix this up too badly in editing all right guys uh waffle maker here if you can see that's the waffle maker indicator light is on it is heating up let's see if we can check on our griddle all right so recipes, they have Belgian waffles, which is what I would really like to have, but we, it's just me and I can't eat but a little tiny bit, so, um, there we are. And oatmeal waffles, that sounds interesting, good for heart health. Chocolate waffles, cinnamon waffles, pumpkin waffles, pumpkin everything. Apple cider syrup, hmm, I don't know about that. Whole wheat waffles, blueberry waffles. Well, that's what we're doing, but we're not doing the, you know, complicated one. And there you go. <laughs> so we're doing blueberry waffles, and it's going to be, you know, mix it up. Yeah, because we've got a different thing. Carefully fold in blueberries. Yep, yep. Carefully pour batter into the preheated well of the lower cooking surface. Close the lid. Cook for four to six minutes. Open lid with a pot holder or oven mitt because it'll steam and remove waffle with a wooden or plastic kitchen utensil because you don't want to use metal because it's non-stick. Um, it does not say to spray it, but you know what? I'm going to spray it. My experience with non-stick is that non-stick tends, sorry, tends to stick a little bit. So we're going to open this up and we're going to give it a light Light, light burst of spray there. And then we're going to spoon our mix in there and hope for the best. Because it did not say to spray it. Now I'm going to try not to overfill, but I probably just did. Alright, All right, let's go back to our pancakes. All right, guys, we are back with our waffle maker, and let's hope we gave it enough time to get done in the middle. Seemed like it was getting done a little fast. So I hope it's not still raw. If it is, that's on me. It's not on the maker itself because I got impatient. So look at that, guys. Look at that. Now, if I had some real syrup, I could put some in each little hole. Wouldn't that be awesome? But I don't because I didn't know I was getting this. Ugh. I probably could have cooked it just a little longer. It's not crispy. Let's try turning it back on just for a few moments. All right, I sort of just scooted the pepper over because we're not going to waste trees. Um, I would, if it was regular plates, I would have gotten more and I, everything would have had its own plate. However, we are using paper and it's not very... Um, um, environmentally friendly to use paper products anyway, so we're definitely not going to use extra. We don't usually use paper, but we we moved in such a hurry and we needed 
to be able to eat and not have to go back and pack up. So back to the waffles. All right, so I did turn it back on just a little longer, but it started to smell a little burned. So it's not, it's just, it's got some brown spots, but I, again, I like my things darker than most. Oh, that side's perfect for me. This might be a little overdone for you. That is perfect for me. Most people would probably want it to be more the pancake color. No, we want it a little crispy. All right, so back with our plate of breakfast goodies or brunch goodies. Sorry, I'm sorry to move you around so much. Um, okay, this is already unplugged. I'm going to move it out of the way. And I'm going to try this again with a little bit of butter. Uh, it would, of course, be better if we could put just that little bit of real maple syrup in each one of those little squares. Wouldn't that be perfect? <clears throat> but because, and it's got an egg on my knife, sorry. Because we don't have syrup, we're just going to use a little dollop of butter. Not that it needs anything because it's got blueberries in it. It really doesn't. Mmm. And you know, cooking it and giving it that just that little bit of crunch to it. Not I mean it's soft. It's very soft, but it's got just little bits where the high points were. It actually tastes completely not completely, but quite a little bit. There's a lot of butter there. Different than the pancake. Even though it's using the same exact mix. Mmm. Guys. I scored. I did. I'm going to get that sandwich maker some way. Because I need that grilled cheese, that single grilled cheese maker in my life to go with my little mini appliances. So, um, if I was grading this on a point system, um, one to five, one being not so great and five being absolutely awesome, Across the board, I am giving the Nostalgia My Mini um, Appliances five. Five points across the board. Five for the, well, I'll tell you at the end of the videos. Five for the waffle maker, for sure. Guys, be really careful not to overfill your waffle maker. I filled this one. I was trying to use up the rest of the batter. I overfilled it a bit. Just be careful not to overfill it. Don't get impatient and try to use up the mix too quick. Better to make an extra one that's not quite full than to make a big old mess. On your maker or on your counter or, you know, on your floor. So, there you go. Blooper!